Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Travis. And I'm Lindsay. And today we're going to give you a tour of our custom four-wheel camper, Eagle. So this is us, and this is what we're doing. We custom built this four-wheel camper to live in full-time, and we're taking it on the Pan American Highway. We quit our jobs and a comfortable life in Canada to find adventure and meaning. Journey with us as we explore this giant world. We are Travis and Lindsay, and we are just traveling. So this we have here is a 2012 four-wheel camper Eagle, and it's sitting on a 2014 Toyota Tacoma SR5. Now we have a full build of this truck on our channel. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link for that video in the description for this video, and you can check that out whenever you feel like. So we have a 270 degree Fox wing awning that is fantastic for days like this on the beach and just hanging out to try and get away from the sun. We also have this jerry can mount that we uh, use for extra fuel when on the road. It's just mounted to the place where the jacks mount and we don't have those on the trip so it's, it's, it's great. We also have some marker lights with amber housing for nighttime as well. For night we have these rear lights which emit a lot of light, so it's great. Here we have our propane tanks. We have two 13 pound propane tanks for fuel for our stove and for our furnace. We have gas assist struts for lifting up the roof, which is great because we do have some added weight on there with some solar panels. On this side, the only thing of note is our furnace exhaust and don't touch that when it's hot <laughs> all right let's move to the inside that's why you're all here and we'll check out what's going on in there when we got this camper almost about a year ago it was just a shell model which means it only had three components which is the stove the furnace and a rollover couch right over here. But we were not too convinced about the rollover couch. We wanted a side dinette, just like this. So that is what we built. We eventually decided to keep the brackets from the rollover couch and make our own seat. And just like that, we have our own little bed. So we made our rollover couch into a lounge seat. And also when it is bad weather and we need to sleep with our top down, I have a bed to sleep on and Travis can sleep on the floor. But we're going to get it packed up again, just like this. like that and we're going to put the table back this. just like that this table also has multiple features so we use this to eat on which is just in the shape that it is right now. But when we want to work, when we want to work on our computers, for instance, then we switch it over just like this. So we each have a bit more of workspace. And sometimes we need some more space to walk around. So then we're going to move it out of the way, just like that. Of course, when we are driving, we don't keep the table like this. We put it in storage position. I'll show you how we do that. Just open it up, just like that. Fix it here. Fix the other one. Right over there. And like this, it can't go anywhere. So this table mount, we are actually very satisfied by it because of the diversity that it gives us. We got this on Amazon, actually like most of all our stuff that we build in we have it from there and we will put all the links in the description below so you can check them out whenever you want to 
All right, we're gonna move over to storage. We actually wanted to maximize the storage in a small space as much as possible. We had these storage boxes that already came with the camper on the moment that we bought it. The only thing we did there is just add a little bit of color uh, to make it our own. Just like that. So they open. We actually put our toiletries in there. So Travis has his own and then this is mine. And then we have two side uh, pockets there where we just put in cables and little things. But we also have the extra storage that came with this seat that we built. Show you. So just like that, we have a whole box full of storage where we can put uh, spare clothes. We have our vacuum in there and some extra toilet paper, which is important too obviously we wanted more we wanted more storage we still did not have a spot where we could put our clothes in so we built two cupboards we have this one here for travis's clothes with the packing cubes that come with it and then over here let me just show you over here we have my a uh, closet where we also used the packing cubes to make it uh, nice and clean and then we had an empty space down there which we wanted to use as uh, storage for shoes because we've got lots of shoes and lots of clothes but it all fits in here so we're really happy about that okay moving on to our bed now it is nicely tucked away but once it is slid out it is actually the size of a queen bed I'll show you how we do it. We didn't really enjoy the stock mattress that the camper came with. So we went online and we found ourselves a dual mattress that has memory foam and regular foam together so that we have extra comfort. And we're really happy with that. All right, we're moving on to the kitchen area. When we just got this camper, it came with the stove and the furnace. So we just left that and we basically changed everything around it. And these two guys work on the propane that you saw when we were outside. It has two burners, which is actually just enough for whatever we want to cook for dinner. And then we also have a little spice rack that we made here with some magnets. And you just turn it, use it, easy like that. And then once you're done, you fold it back and that's it. Of course, after making dinner, someone also has to do the dishes. So we have this little sink. It was not easy finding a sink that small. I think it's 10 inch on 10 inch. And then we got also a secondhand faucet to go with that. When we want to have water, we just open this guy. And then we have a little button over here that just turns on our water. There we go. Just like that. So we build in our fresh water tank right over here, which is a 40 liter water tank that has an electrical pump that brings the water through a filter to make sure that we have nice and fresh water coming out of the faucet. Fresh water that comes out of the faucet and then it goes through the drain into our gray water tank. And our gray water tank is right over here, which is the same thing as there. It is a 40 liter water tank and it runs through here, right in there. Also in our kitchen area, we try to maximize space and have as much storage as possible. This little cupboard right here might surprise you just how much fits in there. I'll show you. So we have everything here from extra spoons to knives to everything else that we need. So that's all fitting just under there. And then there is another little cupboard that we have, which is located right under here. 
where we store mostly our coffees and teas which we have over there. And another cupboard is right over here which has a nice folding door which makes it a lot easier to work around if it would be a complete door it would get stuck everywhere so we really enjoy having this folding door in there which tucks away nicely and then we have just all our food in there everything that we need it's completely filled up until the end as well and then we also have our pots and our pans and our little cups and all of that going as well something that we found a little bit challenging as well when we started building these cupboards was finding the right way to lock it so we didn't want to have any locks on the outside and we also didn't want to have anything falling out and um, spreading around the camper so what we found was these double ball latches which we really uh, like to use you can also change the strength on it so if you need it a little bit more tight then you can do that as well also from these guys we'll put the link in the description below so de definitely check these out i think that's a must for when you're building a camper or a van a little bit more about these buttons so as i showed you the first one is for the water the second one is for the big light outside and then the third one is for the fridge this is actually mainly on because we always want to have our fridge working so this is for our fridge so this is our fridge the Dometic CRX 65 and we really enjoy this fridge it is very spacious it has lots of space in there lots of little boxes where you can put stuff in usually it comes with a little freezing freezer box so you can keep that if you want to but we took that out so we have maximum space for the fridge you might not expect this as we are actually at the fridge but we also have our little porta potty right down here there was one thing that I said to Travis that I definitely had to have which is my own porta potty so I can use the washroom whenever I need to show you that try and do it as smooth as possible the porta potty is a Tedford 135 which is actually the smallest one of its kind but that's perfect for us because it was the only one that would fit into our unit if you thought that you've seen all the storage in here yet you got it wrong because there is one more to go we have this beautiful seat here which is also again full of storage so we've got our games in here we have our writing material also headphones everything that is necessary for our laptops is right in there and that brings us to our power system our power system starts on the roof with two 100 watt solar panels and those solar panels end up going to our victron arc 20 mppt solar charger The solar charger also duals as our battery monitor, as it will show the battery level, the battery voltage, the voltage going into the battery, and the amperage going to the battery. There are some other features with it too, but we don't really use them. So we actually ditched the original two lead acid batteries as they were heavy and old and didn't provide enough uh, amp hours as our single 100 amp lithium polymer battery. We love that battery, expensive, but um, you can drain a lithium battery much further in voltage than you can with lead acid, so it was a, a no-brainer. So attached to our lithium battery, we have an AC inverter. Now this inverter uh, attaches to our two plugs, one in the kitchen and one in the living room. Our one in the living room has both the 120 volt plugs and two USB chargers. Mostly we just run laptops and small appliances like that on them. 
It's been great. One other thing we changed was the master power switch. Originally, this four-wheel camper came with a pull toggle switch uh, as the master power, and it was in a really, really awkward place under the stove. So we thought we wanted to put the switch with the battery components. That made sense to us. It's a simple on-off switch. Um, it's, it's for a marine application, but um, marine application is exactly what we need too. It's from Blue Sea Systems, and it's just a simple off, on. And we haven't looked back, it's great. So one other thing that we changed was the fuse panel. The original fuse panel that came with this camper only had about six accessory slots. With like a lot of the electronics we bought for this camper, we use a Blue Sea Systems and we use the 12 port accessory uh, uh, fuse panel. We ended up putting some extra accessories on like the water pump that was obviously not in here before. And we also put in this USB charger. It is a dual USB charger that charges at five amps. And we use it every day for charging our phones and every other thing else that we use. One of the final components of our electrical system is a Victron DC to DC charger. Now we noticed that when there was a couple days of clouds and no sun, that our battery had a really hard time staying full and often it didn't stay full. So we bought this device and there's only been a few times where we've actually needed it, but we're glad we have it because it's come in handy. Now, unfortunately it's not an automatic one. We had to buy the manual one because that's all that was available at the time. But to counter this issue, we had to put it on a switch that's in the truck. So whenever we know it's time to charge, we switch it on and it starts charging. It's perfect. And the last thing we're gonna go over for the camper build is our custom turnbuckle doors. The camper has four turnbuckles that mount the outside of the camper down into the outside of the truck bed. And it was a bit of a headache on how we wanted to design these. We ended up designing some sliding uh, doors on all four corners that has just worked out for us. Completely custom job. We love it. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed our full tour of our customized four-wheel camper Eagle. If you have any more questions, just drop a comment below. Our journey takes us all the way down to Argentina, all on the Pan American Highway. If you don't want to miss any of that action, don't forget to check out our channel on YouTube and subscribe. Thank you.